Hey folks, it's Blue here with a quick tutorial video on fixing an issue that was really getting on my nerves in the past couple of days. Now, to real quick, real quick, sorry, explain what this issue is. It is if you go into a full screen game, for example, I especially had that issue with Total War Rome 2 where you went in and everything just totally went off in the colors and that was because it was running DirectX and that a lot of times when the game is running DirectX will set the colors to Windows default and completely completely ignore any settings you set in like the Nvidia control panel or anywhere else or AMD I assume if you're on the AMD side and it would just totally throw all the colors off and ruin things quite a bit <coughs> Sorry. Now, I was doing a lot of looking on this and found a solution. So let's get right to it. Now, the solution I found was actually a uh, application, this thing. But I'll just show you where I got it. Here you go. Very fairly basic page. You download it right here. You click it. Wait for the download to start. Save, save as. I already did this, but I'll just show it anyway. Save, save as. Save it there. Yes, I know it exists already, but I'll download it. There we go. Now you would exit out of here. Run the installer. Yeah. I'll just say no. Now, the same general pro, same usual pro standard procedure, no, no bloatware or any of that on here. So you just run it and you're done. So no need to show that any, for, any further. So now let's get to actually uh, fixing the problem. Now you would start off by going to wherever your thing is installed because it does not create a desktop shortcut by default. By default, it goes to C, Program Files x86, Monitor, Calibration Wizard. You will create a shortcut of mcw.exe and put it on your short, put it on your desktop, sorry, or just leave it there if you don't care about having a shortcut. Then you'll run the shortcut, but I have it running in the background, so I'll just click here and open it. Okay. Now, we will just pretend that I haven't done anything, and we will create a custom profile just to show how it works. Run the wizard. I personally recommend you do this even if you're fine with the colors you currently have, as I find it actually does help quite a bit. So we'll just say start, then you would set your brightness. I'm just going to generally go through it. I'm not actually going to do this because I already have a setting I like. So you'd do that, and then here you'd sit back, as it says, and keep adjusting these little sliders until the color looks like you want it. I have no idea if this actually is coming up on the video, though, so I'm very sorry if you see no difference. But, like, see, now it's way too bright, now it's way too dark as you flip it around. What you want is something right in the middle where it blends in, as it says. Sitting back is very important for this, otherwise when you're too close it won't work right. Then you'll continue, do the same for the greens and the blues. And now it has your cur color curve right there. Now right here you'll click 15 second test. It'll minimize for 15 seconds, then open back up, and you'll see the effect of whatever you've done. In this case, it looks a little more washed out for me than what I currently have, which is this. Again, no idea if this actually comes up on the video, though. And right here, you can adjust the brightness to make things a lot darker or a lot lighter. Like, again, don't know if that actually comes up, but now things are way, way too dark and the colors are off. But I have no idea if that actually came up. I personally set mine to be a little darker than what it set as default because it was a little more comfortable to view. I set it to right there, the 1.2. So now we'll just say apply. And now you would save this as a profile. I'll just call it video profile. And say save. Now you'll see under load profile, there you are, video profile. Now, this is where I actually show how you fix the issue. Now, with this color profile, with all that set, if I said to load it, which I will, 
and had gone into, again as the example, Total War, it would throw the colors off again. Because this will not stick when it's just loaded. You need to select a specific item checkbox here to do that. Fix it. You need to check Persistent Profile. It will keep the thing running in the background. I'm going to real quick load up my regular profile. You have to... It will run in the background forever, basically. From the moment your computer turns on to when it turns off. And it will ensure that nothing else changes your color settings. So these will be persistent color settings no matter what you do. You could be on Photoshop, you can be in a, any game you want, and there you go, that's your colors. Which I personally like, because whenever I went into games, I especially noticed this with Ghost Recon Future Soldier, which I just gotten him admittedly planning on doing a review on, where it was like you went into it, and then you left, and the colors were off. So you had to go into the NVIDIA control panel and reset it, then play something else, guess what? Your colors are wrong again. So I had to keep fiddling with it over and over and over. And this fixes the issue. I can't remember exactly where I found this thing. It was some form post somewhere. <laughs> eh, whatever. But to get it to load up when Windows starts, you just click the load at Windows startup thing. Now. I just click load again to make sure it works perfectly, and there you go. You have color settings that are actually correct. No matter what you're doing, instead of having them correct when you're on the desktop or in a borderless windowed application, but completely wrong whenever you're in anything else. So thank you folks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and found it quite informative. I'm going to uh, be getting more videos out, by the way, so uh, sorry I haven't had many recently. Uh, reality has gotten in the way a little bit. Well, thank you folks for watching. Hope you liked the video and like it if you did like it. So, subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed and want more. Thanks for watching, folks. Bye-bye.